got all these cards on the front. <laughs> but I put myself on cruise control. And shout out to my kings too. Welcome back to the video of the rain. My name is Sally Mato, or you can call me Sally, whatever floats your boat. I'm back, y'all. I'm sorry. I've been going for like a month. It's been a month today. Today's June 13th. My birthday. Yay. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Ramadan started May 15th. That's why I stopped posting because usually I um, take a break from social media during ramadan i take a break so that's why you have not seen any videos from me but i'm back with another one yo i swear to god it was just quiet i'm recording outside it was just quiet and now that i could record everything want to go by what the heck i'm recording 22 things i've learned in 22 years so i have my little notepad here so let's just jump straight into it you know what i've learned patience um, <clears throat> I'm a really impatient person, honestly. But I've learned patience, honestly, just like through fasting. That's taught me patience because I love to eat, y'all. And then Ramadan, you can't eat or you can't drink water. So self-control, patience is what I've learned. Um, and not reacting to everything. Not being like too pressed about things and just letting them come as they do god's timing is the best timing okay two being okay with being by myself um i'm more so a loner <laughs> but in a good way i like being by myself like i go to concerts by myself like i take walks by myself i want to see superfly with um trevor jackson y'all know i love trevor jackson i legit would go to the movie on friday to see it by myself i really don't care so that's what i've learned just being okay with being by myself obviously i like being with my friends as well but i'm more of a person who's just more to myself which is okay and then number three how to express myself through creativity so for instance youtube i you know express myself that way um and in a lot of different ways so being creative is something that i've definitely you know acquired throughout my years because i me and my friend tanisha in high school we always used to say like we have no talents like we don't we're just here like we don't really have a niche or a niche or anything like that that we love doing um but honestly you may not have it at one point in time and you acquire it as you get older you know as you fill out different things and see what you like so that's what has what has happened with me so yes so number four is being fearless not being afraid or scared to try different things See, when i was younger i used to like be really outgoing and then i went through a phase where i was just like really scared to try different things but now it back into the phase of just like you know being friendly with people and um, even today in the nail salon i saw another muslim girl there she was a hijabi she had like her breathable nail polish she was about orly and i was like oh you um using the gray one i have that one too and then we just start talking to each other i don't know it's just okay with me now to just come out of my comfort zone and actually like you know talk to people and and speak out in public and stuff like that so being fearless trying new things things that scare me is something that i want to continue to do this upcoming year inshallah okay. number five everyone will not like you and that's okay everybody does not need to be your friend number six i learned to sew i make pants and pantsuits i make dresses and skirts number seven i learned to make jewelry um i went through a little phase um last summer where i was just making a crazy ton of like bracelets and stuff like that um eight anything negative that someone has to say about me really doesn't have much to say about me but it has more so to do with them and i don't ever take things to heart well i try not to i don't say i won't ever but i like maybe initially i'll take it to heart and then i'll think to myself like that uh, that's not true like you know like that's them for like pushing you know their thoughts onto me which is not legit also like to go along with that just because somebody is rude to you or someone is upset with you it doesn't mean that you need to you know have a reaction 
a reaction does not need a reaction that's too much energy anything that's negative can stay away that's it stay away from me anything that's negative can stay away number 10 i know what i want and i go get it like that's it that's all i gotta say about that one <laughs> number 11 i've learned self-respect anyone's gonna respect you you have to respect yourself that's it that's it <laughs> 12. I learned to be good to my parents. In Islam, it's very like um, important to be good to your parents. And your parents raised you. They, you know, brought you up from when you could not do nothing for yourself. You couldn't do anything for yourself. So definitely being good to your parents, respecting them, not talking back, do that. I always catch myself. Even like my parents can be <laughs> frustrating sometimes. They can frustrate me sometimes. But even when that does happen, I just check myself real quick and I'm like, mm, that's my mom, that's my dad, you know, and I just keep it in, keep it to myself, you know. Respect your parents, okay? 13. Karma and the law of attraction is real. Whatever you think will come to you. Whatever you do to others will come back to you. If you do good, good will come on to you. If you do bad, bad will come on to you. That's it. If you think negative thoughts, negative things will happen. If you think positive thoughts, positive things will happen. Okay. 14 is you need to put action into your prayer. You can't just sit down and expect God to magically put some food on your plate. You need to go out and grab some food, put it on your plate. <laughs> that wasn't the best analogy, but <laughs> y'all get what I mean. Pray and then go get it. 15, so I don't know if y'all know this, but I work at a daycare and I work with children. Um, Oh, I don't. I haven't told y'all. I got the job. I believe in my last video, I talked about a summer job that I was applying for. Um, it's for it's at the University of Pennsylvania, and I'll be working with high school students. So I work with you know kids of all ages. Um, so that brings me into number fifteen, which is kids are precious, but there is no need to rush to have them. And I know that for a fact. Like I've been in a baby room at my daycare for a couple of days and it is no joke y'all like it can seem like rose oh they're so like cute and precious and they poop they cry they need to be fed every two hours they need to be changed like it's no joke y'all for real kids are cool but have them when you're ready for them financially and emotionally because it can take a toll on you like because i've been seeing so many young people just out here having babies don't do it because you see other people doing it. Have have a feel for it first to see. <laughs> so, that number 16. Not everybody deserves your time. That's plain and simple. Know your words. Not everybody deserves you. Number 17. Boys are boys. And men will show you who they are. That's it. You, you can tell a man from a boy, a boy from a man. Like they're not remotely the same like you can tell 18 be my own person no matter what anybody else is doing that is for sure what i've learned i've always you know been the person who went away from the group um and not really cared about what others were doing that's just how i've been since i was younger um yeah so just be you that's all number 19 this one's kind of morbid, but <laughs> America was not made for us. That's just plain and simple. Us, black people, that's what I mean. Um, I feel like that doesn't really need to be elaborated on because you know where I'm going with that. So, going off of that, number 20 is I am enough. I'm enough. That's it. I'm enough. You're enough too. No matter what society has to say about you, society has to say about me, we're enough. Okay? And then number 21, I've learned to have my own sense of style. I love, you know, dressing outfits like up and down, um, you know, putting them together. I really, really love that. So look forward to some summer um, try on hauls and some lookbooks. Ooh, I can't wait. I'm excited about that. Hopefully my brother will record them for me. So we'll see. But yeah, I've learned to be stylish and, you know, style things different ways. Test things out. Sometimes it won't look the best, but you have to try to see. Yeah, that, that wasn't working to find what does work. So I've learned. <laughs> Child area high school. I used to do anything. People were looking at me. I did not care. Like, <laughs> it was whatever. 
So next we have number 22. Oh, we're at the end. Okay, all these cards are going by, so I'll let them pass. Okay, so we made it to number 22. Wow. Okay, I can't believe I'm 22. This is weird. I'm like, I feel old. I can't believe I'm 22. Like, when did this happen? Number 22 is I have tons of potential. I just need to stay consistent with what I'm doing and execute. Um, I tend to procrastinate on things. So, I know that I can do it. I just need to, you know, stick with it. Basically, that's what I've learned about myself. Like, I need to stick with things. Um, like with YouTube. <laughs> I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. I have like a little bonus at the end, which is um, things that I wish to learn in the next year. So I have four of them. I'm going to make them real, real quick for y'all. So, number one, I want to learn to properly budget and stick to my budget. I spend money like a mad person. I don't know why. <laughs> I literally spend money like like nothing else like like tomorrow color pop is coming out with a foundation and a pressed powder i'm buying it <laughs> and i shouldn't i get paid product that's what i think I'm like oh i get paid product so what like so what that money shouldn't be going to that it should be going to something else but yeah and i might go to the mall tomorrow i want to buy some fenty fenty highlighter hmm. i'm a mess y'all so that's the goal to learn to budget and to stick to it and then number two I need to learn um, that there is no need to receive or go after everything that I think I want since we live in a place of like our time of instant gratification I need to learn that that's not necessary like I don't need to instantly gratify myself every time that I want or need something like um, self-control like the Ramadan it helps you with that because like you see oh I I see this food but I can't eat it I need to wait I need to analyze my situation type of thing like so that's what I want to learn not always have to like how I do now buy every single thing that I want just because I want it you know so like analyze the situations and seeing what I really really need versus what I really really want and then number three I want to learn my business is what I wrote down so I am looking into a business venture I won't say what it is right now until I you know get my feet wet and get it off the ground a little so to be continued um, and then my last one I want to learn all the things that I need to know to become a great counselor um, I don't know oh, my mother it's home self-reflection um, is definitely a thing that we do as like psych majors and with counseling so self-reflection you know realizing more about myself um, this upcoming year I definitely want to do more of that I know I will be forced to um, and I want to just become a great counselor you know so yes that is oh if y'all don't know that's what I'm going to school for psychological counseling um, and I'm going for my master's so it's a master's in education and it's a master's of the arts so I'll be getting two degrees in the process inshallah right <laughs> I started in September so yes and after that i want to go and get my phd in child psychology so i can become a child psychologist that's the goal fam <laughs> so i definitely want to become great in what i do and actually really help people to the best of my ability so pray for me fam pray for me so that is all that i have today i hope that you oh that was my brother not my mother hello brother Yes, <laughs> I got his camera up on the ledge. He like, <laughs> you better stop playing, bro. But anyways, y'all, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, expect some more. I know I say this all the time, but please don't leave me. Expect some more videos to come soon. Um, and yeah, I guess I will talk to you all later. Bye comment down below things that you learned through how many ever years old you are <laughs> what have you learned like what are the biggest lessons of your life i guess the question is so comment them down below bye